Hello mga mathusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, week 8 na ng inyong mga modules. So, patapos na patapos na isang learning task na lang ang aabangan ninyo at natapos na natin ang second quarter ng inyong math. At masaya ako na naging kasama ninyo ako sa journey nyo na matapos ito ang muzos nyo. Kayo ba nag-enjoy? Nasayahan ha? Mag-comment kayo sa baba ha? Kung okay na okay ang naging pagsasama natin at kung magkikita pa ba tayo sa third quarter. At syempre, yung page natin ha? Huwag nyong kalimutang ipalo para namang kahit pa paano ay eh, nandyan pa rin ako sa buhay nyo kung hindi nyo nabisitahin yung mga YouTube channel nyo. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, for this learning task, you have to solve the following equations. So, 1 to 15 ito, no? For number 1, we have the square root of x equals to 4. To solve for x, kailangan matanggal natin itong radical sign. Paano natin siya matatanggal? Natatandaan ninyo, kapag tayo ay nagra-rationalization, ang ginagawa natin... Uh, dun sa ibang mga parte ng rationalization, ini-square natin to. And then, pag ini-square natin to, nakakancel natin yung radical sign together with the exponent. So, kung nag-square tayo dito sa side na to, dapat mag-square din tayo dito. So, what will remain here is x. And then, what is 4 squared? 4 times 4 yan, ba diba? So, 4 times, times 4 is 16. Ayan na yung value ng x natin. Ayan na yung sagot. Oh, ang dali ah. Okay, for number 2, we have here the cube root of 3x equals 9. Kanina square root, this time cube root. Kaya dapat, i-raise natin siya by 3 para makancel natin sila. Okay, so eto, makakancel na. Ang matitira na lang dito ay 3x. Okay, now what is 9 raised to 3? 9 raised to 3 means 9 times 9 times 9. Okay, what is 9 times 9? 81. What is 81 times 9? Teka lang ha, i-times ko lang. So, we have here 9 and then 9 times 8 is 72. So, you have 729. Pero, kailangan natin makuha yung value ni x. Since meron siyang 3 pang katabi dito para ito ay matanggal, kailangan natin siya i-divide by 3. Okay, so your x now will be equal to what? x is equal to... O, oh, ilan? Siyempre, divide muna natin, di ba? 729 divided by 3... So, you have here 2, you have here 6, and then 7 minus 6 is 1, bring down 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then 4 times 3 is 12, and then you have 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 minus 9 is 0. Ha? So, shortcut na tayo. The answer here will be 243. Ayan na siya. Okay, for number 3. We have this one, di ba? We have a value outside the radical sign. 8 square root of x equals to 2. Ngayon, hindi tayo dapat agad-agad mag-square. Dapat tanggalin muna natin ito. Paano natin siya tatanggalin? Di syempre, i-divide natin, di ba? We divide it by 8 and then by 8. So, cancel na ito. Ngayon, you will have here, kasya pa ba? Square root of x equals to 2 over 8. Ngayon, i-square natin yan. Pero bago natin i-square, i-lowest term muna natin ito, ha? Para hindi masyadong malaki yung i-square natin. Pag ni-lowest term natin ito, ilan? We have the square root of x is equal to, ano, divisible by 2, di ba? Kaya magiging 1 over 4. And then, pwede na tayo mag-square para makancel natin yan. And then, this one. 
Okay, so cancel ito. And then, ito magiging ano? Dito ko ilalagay, ha? So, we have x. 1 times 1 is 1. And then, 4 times 4 is 16. So, you have 1 over 16 as your answer. Now, for number 4, oh, let's see. We have here 8 plus the square root of x equals 14. Okay, dahil may kasama si square root of x na 8 at dahil may plus sa gitna nila, hindi mo siya pwedeng gawin na katulad nito na nagdi-divide ka ha. Ang gagawin mo, ililipat mo si 8. Kanino? Kay 14. Ha, lipat siya doon. So, what will remain here is x equals to 14. So, from positive, magiging negative na siya. Negative 8. So, you will have here x or square root of x is equal to what is 14 minus 8. Bilangin nga, you will have how many? 6, ba? Tama? So, we have 6. Now, para matanggal ito, you just have to square it. And then, you square this one. Cancel, cancel. So, you will have here x is equal to what is 6 squared? 6 times 6, 36. O ha? Ayan na siya. Now, for number 5, we have the fourth root of 3x minus 7 equals to negative 9. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron ulit tayong number dito, katabi ng may radical sign natin, katulad nitong number 4, ba? So, obviously, ililipat ulit natin siya dito sa kabila. So, from negative 7, magiging positive na siya. So, we have here the fourth root of 3x is equal to negative 9 plus 7. Okay, operate lang natin ito ha. So, you have here 4th root of 3x. Okay, is equal to negative 9 plus 7. That will be negative 2. Tama. And then, dahil okay na tayo dito, i-raise natin siya sa 4. Para tong 4th root dito, makancel na natin. So, what will remain here is 3x equals to, oh, what is negative 2? times negative 2, times negative 2, times negative 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Dahil negative times negative, positive times negative, negative times positive, positive siya, you have positive 16. And then, hindi pa pwede kasi meron pang katabi si x. So, you divide. Okay? So, your answer is x is equal to 16 over 3. Ngayon, mga anak, kung sa inyo, pwedeng ma-divide ito, edi i-divide nyo. Kung pwede pang ma-simplify, i-simplify nyo. Ha? Nagkataon lang kasi sa given ko. Ganito yung lumabas. Okay? For number 6, we have the square root of 3x minus 5 equals 2. Okay? So, dahil wala na tayong magagawa dyan, ang kailangan na lang natin ay makancel itong radical na ito, kaya square natin sila pareho. Okay, mawawala na ito. Ang matitira na lang dito ay si 3x minus 5 equals to 2 times 2. Kasi naka-square siya eh, di ba? 4. Ngayon, para masolve natin si x, ilipat muna natin to dito, kaya magiging 3x is equal to 4 from negative, magiging positive, ha? 4 plus 5. So, you will have your 3x is equal to 4 plus 5, 9. And then, you divide by 3 kasi kailangan x lang. What is 9 divided by 3? That's 3. So, your answer here is 3. Ang dali lang naman pala ng topic nyo na to, ha? O, for number 7, we have here the fifth root of x plus 7 equals 10. Okay, so hindi muna natin masosolve yung fifth root niya kasi may 7 pa tayo dito. Oh, sorry, nagpalit lang ako ng color ng pen. So, eto muna, kailangan ilipat natin siya dito. Kaya ang matitira dito ay fifth root ng x equals 10. Now, from being positive, dahil nilipat natin siya, negative na siya. So, you will have here the fifth root of x equals to 10 minus 7 is 3. Now, pwede na natin ito erase sa, sa 5, sorry, para makancel na natin ito. Okay? So, you will have your x equals to 3 raised to 5. What is 3 raised to 5? That is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 
is 27 times 3 is 81 times 3 is 243. So, limang beses dapat ha. Ganyan din yung gagawin nyo sa makukuha nyo dyan. So, your answer here is 243. Ayan na. Okay, for number 8, we have here the cube root of x is equal to the, is equal to 3. And then, cube root of uh, 5. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho silang may radical sign. Pero, pareho naman sila ng index. Kaya, ang gagawin nyo lang ay erase din ito sa index niya. Kung anong index niya, which is 3. Kaya, ito ay nakarase kay 3 para makancel natin. So, ito, makakancel na ito. Ang matitira dito ay x. Pero, tingnan nyo to ha. Itong 3 natin, na exponent natin, naka-raise din siya dito sa constant natin, ha? Whatever yung number nyo dyan, ha? Hindi ko alam kung pareho tayo dito, pero naka-raise siya. Which means, kung ano man yung number nyo dito, sa akin, 3, i-raise ko din siya sa 3. Paano yung ginawa natin kanina na 1 over 4 raised to 2? Diba? Ibig sabihin nito, yung 1 naka-raise kay 2, kaya 1 times 1 is 1, and yung 4 naka-raise din kay 2, kaya 4 times 4 is 16, kaya ang naging sagot natin kanina is 1 over 16, diba? Ganon din dito, so lahat sila bibigyan mo. Since ito i-raise nyo by 3, yung cube root nito, makakancel na, ang matitira na lang dyan ay 5. So, yung 5 na yan, multiply mo sa product nitong naka-cube. Uh, Naka-cube na constant ninyo. So, this will become 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Okay? Times 5. So, what is now 27 times 5? We have here 5 times 7. That is 35. Get it 3. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3. You have 135. O, oh, ayan na, ang sagot natin. O, oh, ba medyo madali lang, no? Mukha lang mahirap kasi kung titignan mo, hala, may X tapos may radical, oh, pero ganun lang naman pala, no? Okay, for number 9, sige, we have this one. Uh, 13 minus the fourth root of X equals 12. So, ang gagawin nyo, eto ilipat nyo muna dun sa kabila. So, this will become negative fourth root of X. Diba? Equals to 12. From positive, magiging negative na siya. Minus 13. So, you will have here now negative 4th root of x equals to what is 12 minus 13. That is negative 1. Now, to cancel ito, yung 4th root nito, you have to ano, raise it by 4. Okay, so ito, makakancel na ito. Pero alam nyo to, diba? Negative 1 to. Yung negative 1, kagaya yun ng sinabi ko kanina, naka-raise din siya sa 4. So, kung isosolve natin to, ito ay may ne magiging negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 times negative 1. Positive 1 lang din naman ang sagot niyan. So, yung positive 1, i-multiply mo dito kay x mo, that is only x. Okay, is equal to... Negative 1 raised to 4. Oh, ito din yun. Kaya, ito ay equal din kay 1. So, you have your x equals 1. Ngayon, dahil medyo mahaba na ang video na ito, ikakat ko muna siya. Ha? Abangan nyo yung 10 to 11. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Tatapusin natin lahat yan bago nyo ipasa bukas. Kaya, oh, huwag kalimutang mag-comment ha. Para naman i-upload ko agad yung second part natin. At syempre, aasahan ko na bibisitahin nyo ang ating page at ipafa follow nyo. Pag hindi, wag na natin isunod yung part 2 kayo din. Sige, ha? So, i-follow nyo naman kasi yung mga request nyo kasi pinagbibigyan ko. Kaya yung simpleng request ko, i-follow nyo na rin at ibigay nyo na rin. Okay? So, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye! O, comment na!